Well, most Quebecers are done with the elections, but not the students at Concordia. They're in the middle of uh, electing a student government, and one question on the ballot has many students thinking green. Our video journalist Andrew Chang brings us this story. It's a simple question being asked to more than 40,000 Concordia students. For every class you take, would you contribute 75 cents to a sustainable action fund? I voted yes. <laughs> I think it's important. I think it should happen. I'm for it. If the plan goes through, students would be charged an extra 75 cents per class to invest in environmental projects on campus. For a full-time student, that would work out to $7.50 a year, and in all, would raise annually more than $200,000. So, where would all that money go? We are on the 13th floor of the greenhouse, on, located on 1455 de Maisonneuve in the Hall Building. Chantal Baudouin dreams of building a composting facility at Concordia's Loyola campus that could process 100 tons of compost a year. That's four times more than they produce now. Baudouin is already involved in improving the university's environment, but if students vote in favor of the proposed scheme, she has even more ideas. They uh, include reusable mug campaign, which would ban the use of disposable coffee cups and uh, beer mugs on campus, as well as uh, reusable bags for the library and bookstore. This is all stuff that we can eliminate. So, yeah, we're no better than anybody else, and I think it's time that we put our money where our mouth is. But not everybody who voted today was willing to do that. But what does that even mean? Various projects on campus, and, you know, $7 a person? If they, if they want to do it, they can do it. I don't really care. Getting everybody on side, especially the big chains on campus, will not be easy. Still, the group in charge of the fund thinks the student levy has a good chance. They'll find out one way or the other on Friday after the polls close. Though, if the plan does pass, the group says it will ask the federal and provincial governments to match the students' contributions. And over time, that could mean millions of dollars for a greener Concordia. Andrew Chang, CBC News, Montreal.